What's up, Omnibus Collectors? Riley here, and today we're gonna to be taking a tour of my comic library, so stay tuned. <laughs> Like I said, we're doing a tour of my comic library today. If you are interested in seeing the manga half of my library, definitely check the previous video on my channel. We looked at all my manga from various different publishers, which makes up about half of my library. Uh, so today we're gonna be looking at all the comics, including Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, uh, and all the other different publishers. So we'll do a look around my library. I wanna point out though, uh, this is not gonna be me pulling books off the shelf and talking about each thing individually because that would take days for me to do for my entire library. I have a lot of stuff. Um, this is going to be me just giving a guided tour through everything that I own uh, so people can see what's in my library and also I know a lot of people are curious about how some people organize their library. So that's what this video is really for. Um, we'll do similar to my manga video, I'll give a brief look around my library so anyone who didn't watch that video who's just not interested in manga, which is fine, they can see how my library looks and then we'll start going shelf by shelf. I do want to mention that I do not own a gimbal and my tripod is only about six inches tall, so I don't have any sort of tool that can steady my camera. I'm doing my absolute best, trust me, to uh, hold it still so it's not shaking. It might get blurry sometimes, it might shake a little bit, but I'm gonna try my best, so please, please, please bear with me. Um, maybe in the future, whenever I can afford it, I'll get a better tripod or something else that I can use to film better videos of my library, but as for now, this is what we have. Um, anyway, thank you so much. If this is your first time checking my channel, by the way, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I do awesome videos about comics and manga every single week, so press that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you're notified of all those videos. Anyway, let's jump into it and take a look at my library. All right, so first I wanna give a look at how my library is set up. Usually I'll have my chair, uh, I'll work at the desk, I have my camera facing, and I just use a lamp without a shade because I don't have a actual uh, light to film with. So that'll provide a little bit of extra light in here because this room has no windows. I'll do a brief look around the library real quick. Usually my chair is tucked away in that corner and I read back there. So there's a bunch of manga, my Marvel shelves, there's three big ones. And then this Kallax or Kalax, however you would like to pronounce it, uh, divides my room, not into half, but divides it into a section. So I have more room for more manga right there and all of my figures. I have uh, many of the X-Men Marvel Legends figures more manga over here and then we'll take a little look around the other side of my shelf here and this is where it's going to be a little bit harder to kind of show what we're what we have in the library those are my like other shelves image dark horse valiant all that kind of stuff and then dc is back here so i'll do my best to kind of light this area uh, use the lamp or use my phone to give light so that you can actually see what is happening on the shelves uh, but anyway, I just wanted to give a brief look around my library to kind of show what everything looks like inside here. All right, so we're going to start the video coming over here to my X-Men shelf. This entire first Billy shelf is X-Men stuff. And you'll notice I do have some uh, custom volumes in there. I'll point those out and just give a brief description on that stuff but let's look at the top here um at the top of my x-men shelf all the trade paperbacks these are mostly alphabetical order and then organized chronologically so we see at the top like astonishing x-men cable doc in excalibur um a bunch of different excalibur gambit magneto mystique mutant x new mutants and some of the stuff that's missing like the early new mutants that's because i'm waiting for the omnibus edition uh new x-men the newer new mutants Nick's Wolverine, and then that goes over. I have Wolverine going all the way up to that volume of the 12. And then down on my next shelf, continuing my Wolverine collection, goes through the modern stuff. I say modern, but it's from a few years back. Uh, Death of Wolverine, X-23, X-Factor, and then some counter X, that's X-Force. Uh, some of the more uh, recent X-Force stuff, Cable and X-Force, Uncanny X-Force Volume 2 and the uh, X-Force by Simon Spurrier. And then we have uh, X-Men paperbacks. So Road to Onslaught, Onslaught Aftermath, Trial of Gambit, X-Men Blue and Gold, 
Hunt for Professor X, Magneto War, X Core, Unstoppable, Trial of Juggernaut, and then we've got the uh, X-Men Legacy and the Adjectiveless X-Men that started up by Victor Gishler and then eventually got taken over by Ryan Wood and then Brian Wood's Marvel Now series. And we've got Uncanny X-Men by Bun, All New X-Men by Hopeless, uh, and then a few volumes of X-Men Blue. And right on the top, you can see X-Men Gold and Red because I ran out of room but didn't want to push everything up to the top again. Uh, a couple more of the recent ones and then it gets into Extreme X-Men and then just some of the miscellaneous paperbacks and some of the events and stuff like that. So you know, House of M, uh, X-Club, Worst X-Man Ever, stuff like that. So these are in... Um, whatever order I kind of felt like putting them in, I guess, uh, there at the end. But a lot of X-Men paperbacks. I don't have everything, but I do have a lot of what I cared about. And then we have some of the X-Men related omnibus and hardcovers. So Alpha Flight, Cable, Soldier X, a bunch of Deadpool. I got Joe Kelly, Classic, Cable and Deadpool, the two Daniel Way volumes, Deadpool and Company, Posehn and Dugan. And then following the uh, Posehn and Dugan run, we have the uh, Deadpool World's Greatest, and over here, the Despicable Deadpool and Spider-Man Deadpool, the four Deadpool minibus volumes, there's the Wolverine reprint, Weapon X Return, Wolverine Origin, Wolverine by Mark Miller, Wolverine by Jason Aaron, Goes to Hell, and Wolverine and the X-Men, and then some Wolverine hardcovers leading into the hunt for Wolverine. This is the first batch of custom oversized Omnis. These are X-Factor volumes one through four, collecting all of Peter David's run. Uh, these were acquired on eBay. I don't know much information about them, but they are beautiful books. Um, check out the Omnibus Collectors Network. Specifically, we did an episode last Sunday where we talked about some custom uh, Omnibus editions with Mike Firth. And uh, he showed off some really awesome ones and I showed these. So if you'd like to see more of those books, please check out the Omnibus Collectors Network episode from last Sunday. We got X-Force Volume 1 and then Volume 2 is Deadpool and X-Force. Volume 3 is Cable and X-Force and then skipping ahead to X-Statics. Then the Chris Yost uh, and Craig Kyle run on X-Force, Necrotia and all that. Uncanny X-Force, Uncanny Avengers, Axis, I know Avengers, but it's a sequel to X-Force, so that's why I put it here. The uh, main one that I'm missing is the X-Men Volume 1 by Stan Lee. I've read the material in there, uh, so I'm not in an absolute hurry to get it. I greatly prefer the material in Volume 2, but uh, I do have that here. I'm happy to have it. Uncanny X-Men Volumes 1, 2, and 3, X-Men Classic, Asgardian Wars, Mutant Massacre, Fall the Mutants, Inferno... The two Jim Lee and uh, Claremont volumes, Days of Future Past, and then it just goes into a lot of the other crossovers. Um, there are only a few holes left. Um, if I'm not mistaken, basically every issue is collected oversized from this point all the way until before Onslaught. Uh, and right there between Apocalypse and Onslaught would be, uh, if they were to do it, it'd be an omnibus basically of the Road to Onslaught material. And then after Onslaught, there's also some material that's not oversized. Uh, but I've got the 12, Revolution, and Eve of Destruction, which lead up to new X-Men and Astonishing X-Men. There's another custom that is the uh, run by Chris Claremont that preceded Ed Brubaker's run. And I also have two custom volumes of Mike Carey's run. Again, those are all shown in that uh, episode of Omnibus Live on the Omnibus Collectors Network. And... Um, these are also books that I got off of eBay. Endangered Species, Messiah Complex, X and Furnace, Age of X, a custom bind for Matt Fraction, a couple more Matt Fraction books that are already oversized, a custom bind of Kieran Gillen, which leads right into the Avengers X-Men Companion, and then some of the newer volumes, all of Bendis' run, Legion, Inhumans vs. X-Men, and House of X. So that is my X-Men collection. I've got not everything, but quite a bit of the oversized material for the X-Men. Now I'm gonna get up and we're gonna take a look at my Marvel shelves. These next two wide Billy shelves are full of all the rest of my Marvel books. And I've mostly integrated the paperbacks at the moment with my omnibus editions. I don't always do that, but when I moved into this house, I decided that's how I wanted to do it. So first at the top, I have a few non-Marvel Marvel books, like The Stand and The Dark Tower and The Muppets, and then it goes into my paperbacks. 
uh, Agents of Atlas and Ant-Man. I have all of my Black Widow stuff pulled out because I was going to do a reread of Black Widow and a video discussing Black Widow books leading into uh, the movie and stuff like that, just books that I recommend. Blade, Cage, Captain Marvel, Contest of Champions, Defenders, I'm going to try to get a little closer here because the paperbacks are harder to see. Uh, Defenders, Dr. Voodoo, Dominic Fortune, Dracula, Fearless, Immortal, Iron Fist, uh, Jessica Jones, Pulse, just a bunch of individual things. I've got a pretty good collection of the Thunderbolts. Not every trade, but most trades of the Thunderbolts. And then that leads into some events, Secret War, Civil War. And then we get to my Ultimate Books, Ultimates, and Ultimate Comics Avengers, Ultimate Comics Ultimates, Captain America, Fantastic Four, I just have the first one. And we've got all of Spider-Man going all the way through Miles Morales. And then Cosmic Marvel events, I've got the uh, Infinity Origin, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath, Infinity War Aftermath, and then a couple more Infinity volumes over there, leading over to Annihilation. And uh, I'm waiting on Infinity Crusade to complete the Infinity Trilogy. Annihilation Conquest, the War of Kings Trilogy, um, and then some more cosmic stuff. We've got the Lemire run on Thanos, followed by Donny Cates' Thanos. Infinity Wars, Alias, some Avengers books. The Crossing, Infamous. Um, Kurt Busiek's run on Avengers, followed by Jeff Johns. And then we've got some Bendis. I don't have all of Bendis. I used to have all of the oversized hardcovers, but I decided to sell them, and I'm hoping that they'll do omnibus editions to collect the rest of his new Avengers. Dark Avengers, and we got some other Avengers stuff. Secret Avengers. The Initiative, Avengers Academy, Avengers Arena, Rage of Ultron, S.H.I.E.L.D., Avengers by Hickman, Secret Wars, and then this next chunk of paperbacks is basically all Al Ewing, and then also Uncanny Avengers by Jerry Dugan, um, All New All Different Avengers, No Surrender, Young Avengers, Children's Crusade, another Young Avengers book. We've got all the Black Panther paperbacks, um, almost complete. There's a couple more things that are coming out, and then we have a couple of Black Panther hardcovers of uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates run, and I apologize if I mispronounced his name. The Captain America Epic Collections, this is everything so far from uh, Grunwald's run, and we got the Mark Wade omnibus, the Dan Jurgens paperbacks, the five volumes of the uh, Ed Brubaker run, we got the first Sam Wilson complete collection, a bunch of Daredevil, that's the Frank Miller stuff, and then the Anne Nascenti and uh, Chichester, Chichester, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his run, but whatever exists of their runs in Epic Collections I have on the shelf here. And then there's the Marvel Knights paperback of the stuff that's not collected in any of these following Omnis by Smith and Quesada, uh, Bendis, Brubaker, Shadowland, which is basically Diggle, Mark Wade, and then End of Days, some Doctor Strange, the Earth X Trilogy, Fantastic Four Omnibus Editions. I've got the uh, Stan Lee stuff. There should be one more Stan Lee Omnibus at some point in the future to complete his run. The John Byrne stuff. I've got a uh, smaller, that's the Morrison and J. Lee 1234 miniseries. Uh, Wade and Waringo. Fantastic Four by Hickman. Fantastic Four by Fraction. And then a little collection of Ghost Rider stuff as well as the Omnibus. Some Guardians of the Galaxy Omnis, Hawkeye, Heroes Reborn, and The Return, Howard the Duck, and then I'm really proud of this section, so I'll probably do a video about it later, um, just individually talking about The Incredible Hulk. We've got the Epic Collections, the Mantlo volumes that are out, the first Peter David Omnibus, the second one's due out soon. The other Epics are the Peter David uh, stuff after the Omnis, which I'm hoping we'll get Omni editions of the latter half of Peter David's run. Um, and then The End, which is also Peter David, John Byrne, Ron Garney, Dogs of War, which is the Jenkins run, and then all these paperbacks make up the um, run by Bruce Jones, plus the return of Peter David there right before uh, Planet Hulk and World War Hulk by Greg Pak. There's the Loeb McGinnis Hulk run. Giant Size, Fall of the Hulks, and World War Hulks oversized hardcovers, and then the rest of Greg Pak's Incredible Hulks plus uh, Chaos War. 
Incredible Hulk by Jason Aaron. And we have the Indestructible Hulk and Hulk from Mark Wade and Jerry Dugan. Savage Hulk, the uh, Secret Wars Hulk books, and then Greg Pak returned to do Totally Awesome Hulk, and we have Immortal Hulk. And after that, we get the Hulk spin-off books like Hercules, Herc, Red Hulk by Jeff Parker, which is one of my favorite books ever. Uh, Red She-Hulk, also by Jeff Parker. Sensational uh, She-Hulk by John Byrne. And then following that, there's a paperback shoved in there. That's one volume of Peter David's run on She-Hulk. Um, there is an upcoming omnibus of Dan Slott's run, so that's why I don't have the paperbacks for that. Then going down here, the end of my Hulk book, so the rest of She-Hulk, uh, going up through the run by uh, Charles Soule and the Mariko, Mariko Tamaki run, and then Scar, Son of Hulk, Complete Collection, and a couple of other Son of Hulk collections. Some Inhumans books, including Black Bolt, and a couple of uh, Inhumans-related paperbacks, like Royals. Iron Man, and then I have uh, all the Iron Man epic collections that follow the Michelinie, Bob Layton, John Romita Jr. omnibus. Um, I think there's one missing in there that, that they're going to release. I think volume 12 has not been released yet, but otherwise that's pretty much a full run, almost leading all the way up to uh, some of the events that came towards like the end of the run, like Heroes Reborn and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm talking too much about Iron Man. Uh, War Machine shoved in there as well because it crosses over with Iron Man. And then we get the uh, restart after the uh, Heroes Reborn return with the uh, Kurt Busiek run and then a Man in the Iron Mask where uh, Joe Quesada comes on. And we got Extremis, uh, Execute Program, and the Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Invincible Iron Man by Bendis. Marvel Legacy, Man-Thing, Marvel Zombies, Marvel's and the Companion, and Marvel's Project. Got Moon Knight by Bendis. Moon Knight, the uh, run that had Ellis Wood and Bun by Jeff Lemire in there as well, and by Max Bemis. Miss Marvel, Namor, Original Sin, Power Pack, and then a bunch of Punisher. I actually did a Punisher video uh, in the summer, I think it was, of my most wanted Punisher Omnis, so I got most of the Punisher paperbacks of the at least the mainline titles that are out there, uh, including all the Garth Ennis Omnis and the Punisher Max stuff that follows it. And then Runaways, and there's one Runaways paperback shoved back there as well, and another Runaways paperback shoved back here. Secret Wars, Secret Wars 2, Secret Warriors, all of the Shang-Chi stuff, all six of those volumes. Silver Surfer, the classic and the Dan Slott one, and then we get to my Spider-Man section, volumes one through four, Roger Stern Omnibus, the Frank Miller uh, Complete Hardcover, and a bunch of the paperbacks that bridge most of the gaps before going into uh, Craven's Last Hunt and the Michelinie McFarlane Omnibus. And I got the McFarlane Omnibus, the Michelinie Larson Omnibus, some more paperbacks, Spider-Man and Venom, Clone Saga 1 and 2, Ben Riley Volume 1, Volume 2 is in transit, some more paperbacks that bridge the gap over to the John Byrne Omnibus. And that runs up to the JMS Omni set. And then after those, there's a bunch of paperbacks. Most of that is collecting. Uh, that's Brand New Day and the beginning of Dan Slott's run. And then speaking of Dan Slott, goes into Superior Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man when uh, Peter comes back, Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide, Clone Conspiracy, and the Red Goblin, which wrapped up his run. And then I've got some Spider-Man paperbacks, including Chip Zdarsky's run, um, The Return to Superior Spider-Man by... Uh, Chris Gage, and some Spider-Woman stuff. So this is all my Spider-Man spin-off stuff. Uh, Venom, Omnibus 1 and 2, the third one's around the corner. Some Venom paperbacks, Rick Remender and Colin Bunn, as well as the uh, Robbie Thompson and uh, Mike Costa runs in paperback. And then the first hardcover of Donny Cates' Venom. We got the uh, Absolute Carnage Omnibus is in transit for me right now. And then more spin-off stuff. Carnage, Morbius, Spider-Gwen, Superior Foes of Spider-Man. And then we go over to Thor. I've got Simonson, the two volumes of the Hero's Return run, JMS. And then the Fraction run, the Gillen paperback is shoved in between there. And then Gillen's um, Journey into Mystery series with Loki. Loki, Agent of Asgard, is hiding back there. Some more Thor collections, Vision, and Werewolf by Night. So that is my Marvel collection. That is everything. The X-Men shelf and the two Marvel shelves. Now, we're going to go take a look behind the shelf over here. I'm going to talk about DC first. I'm going to use my phone to attempt to provide a little more 
illumination for the uh, the shelves. So hopefully that works out because otherwise it's hard to see some of it. So on the top, I've got my absolute editions of Preacher, Swamp Thing, and Transmetropolitan, and then all of my DC events, Crisis, Cosmic Odyssey, Zero Hour, One Million, Identity Crisis, Infinite Crisis, 52, Final Crisis, Blackest Night, Multiversity, uh, Heroes in Crisis, Rebirth, I got the Batman manga there, and then starting off my paperbacks, I've got some Aquaman stuff, Batgirl, Batwing, Catwoman, uh, Challengers, Countdown to Adventure, Demon Knights, a bunch of Flash, Frankenstein, Green Lantern, Green Lantern Core, Green Lantern, Hawkman, I Vampire, Justice League Dark, some Nightwing stuff in there, Question by Denny O'Neill, Red Lanterns, Secret Six, Sinestro, I've got the complete Starman by James Robinson, Suicide Squad, a bunch of Superman stuff, a little bit of Wonder Woman, the Earth One books, and then my Batman oversized hardcovers and Omnis are mixed in with my Batman paperbacks. So I got the 66 Omnibus, the Black and White Omnibus, the Loeb and Sale Omnibus, the oversized editions of the, uh, well, not all of them are oversized, the All-Star Batman is not, but of the Frank Miller material. There's the movie adaptation of the original 1989. Year one, year two, Gothic, Arkham Asylum, Killing Joke, and then a bunch of paperbacks, uh, Second Chances, Caped Crusader, The uh, Dark Knight, I just had one of my figures fall off the shelf behind me, it was uh, Spider-Gwen, so I'll pick that up. And then behind Batman and Robin, um, next to the Dark Knight stuff, is a couple more paperbacks, uh, Death in the Family, Dark Knight, Dark City, Shaman, Prey, and then that leads into... Um, well, it gets close to, it doesn't lead directly into, but that brings us to Nightfall, some more paperbacks, Zero Hour, Contagion, Legacy, the Munch and Jones, No Man's Land, uh, there's the Road to No Man's Land omnibus coming, so that's why I don't have those volumes. New Gotham, Officer Down by BKV, by Brubaker, uh, Murder Fugitive, then I've got Hush and Brian Azzarello's stuff, As the Crow Flies, Living Hell, War Games, Lost Days, Red Hood, City of Crime, Face the Face, Whatever Happened to the Cake Crusader, which actually should be going after my Morrison stuff. I don't know why I have it here on the shelf. Um, and then the three Morrison Omnis. These are all the detective, not all of them, but a lot of the detective New 52 stuff, the Dark Knight New 52 stuff, uh, Scott Snyder's stuff, Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason's Omnibus. Snyder Omnibus, the Eternal Omnibus, more Snyder stuff, and then we get over to the Rebirth stuff with the King run, and then Animal Man, one of my absolute favorite runs, actually my absolute favorite run of all time, Animal Man by Grant Morrison, one of my favorite characters, and then the Animal Man paperbacks that followed it, leading over to Animal Man by Jeff Lemire Omnibus, some Aquaman oversized hardcovers, Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus, DC New Frontier, Dial H, Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol, the Flash by uh, Jeff Johns. That's the first volume of the new printing of Omnis. Flash, New 52. The Fourth World Omnibus by Jack Kirby. Gotham Central. Grayson. Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Green Arrow, Longbow Hunters. Green Arrow by Jeff Lemire. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. Hawkman, Injustice. Justice League Detroit. Justice League International. JSA 1, 2, and 3 is down here. Justice League of America by Brad Meltzer, Justice League Dark Side War Saga, Justice the Deluxe Edition, Kingdom Come Deluxe Edition, Orion, Seven Soldiers, Solo, Super Sun, Superman, Batman, Superman Unchained, Swamp Thing. I've got a lot of Swamp Thing over here. So this is uh, pretty much every Swamp Thing collection, I, I think. I've made a video about that, so search uh, my channel if you're interested. I did a uh, collecting guide for Swamp Thing, all the Omnis, all the paperbacks, and all that stuff. The New Teen Titans, Volumes 1 through 4, Teen Titans by Jeff Johns, Wonder Woman, uh, this is the 60s Omnibus by Denny O'Neill, Wonder Woman by George Perez, Wonder Woman by Gail Simone, by Brian Azzarello, and then we get into the non-DC Universe stuff, so He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, The Authority, Global Frequency, Planetary, all the uh, Watchmen stuff, including the Companion. 
And then we get a bunch of paperbacks. These are uh, non-DC, non-Vertigo stuff. So Ronin, Space Ghost, Thunder Agents, Zombie, all of the Hanna-Barbera books, and all of the Young Animal stuff so far. And then getting into Vertigo, I got Adventures of the Rifle Brigade, Enigma, Exterminators, It's a Bird, all the Constantine hardcovers, or sorry, paperbacks thus far. The Losers, Nobody, Northlanders, The Other Side, Punk Rock Jesus, some uh, little Grant Morrison stuff in there, Unknown Soldier, Dark Knight, Django, uh, Sebastian O, Mystery Play by Morrison, 100 Bullets, American Vampire, Books of Magic, Day Tripper, DMZ, Ex Machina, trying to not get the shadow on here from my light, uh, Fables, the complete set of the main series, The Filth, Flex Mentallo, Hellblazer by Garth Ennis, I know there's some double dipping there with the uh, paperbacks, House of Secrets, The Invisibles, iZombie, some uh, Morrison books, The uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Omnibus, and then League of Extraordinary Gentlemen parts uh, three and four. Lucifer, volume one, Ocean Orbiter, uh, Promethea one and two, I think that's gonna be done in three. Sandman, Omnibus, volume one, two, and three. Scout, Sheriff of Babylon, Sleeper, Sweet Tooth, Trillium. The only volume of the unwritten that was released in oversized hardcover, unfortunately, V for Vendetta, and it all ends with Why the Last Man. So that is my DC Vertigo collection of books. So that spans two entire Billy shelves. So I have definitely more Marvel, but the main reason for that is because, well, A, Marvel releases more collected editions and more omnibus editions. They've been doing the omnibus editions for much longer. And then also because of uh, the fact that I collect basically everything X-Men related. And at the top of the shelf over here, I'm gonna point out that I do have some Batman figures. These are all related to Morrison's run on Batman, plus Wednesday comics that they're all sitting on. Now this is gonna be a little harder to show because of the shelf right here, basically getting in the way. But I'm gonna do my best to show all the stuff over here on this shelf. Like I said earlier, this is my other stuff. This is, you know, Image, Dark Horse, Valiant, stuff like that. At the top, you can see a couple of uh, Jodorowsky books, The Inkle and Meta Barons, The Bouncer, um, some other big oversized editions. I've got Crimson, Red Sonja by Gil Simone, Maximum Minimum Wage, some of the Marvel, um, what do they call them, gallery editions or whatever, Silver Surfer Black, X-Men by Roy Thomas and Neil Adams. Uh, History of the Marvel Universe. Those that are facing the wrong way basically are 300 and the Xerxes book. We've got some uh, Final Fantasy, Super uh, Mario Brothers, and Zelda, and then that's the Godzilla Criterion Blu-ray set. I just decided to put that over here because I had nowhere else to put it. And then Bendis's first Powers Omnibus and his Crime Noir Omnibus. Um, next to that is Brubaker uh, the Incognito collection, The Matrix, uh, some of the TKO, TKO books, sorry. Then my Valiant collection. So Valiant, I'm missing, I think, five books from the Valiant collection. That goes into Image, Chu, Cruel Summer, East of West, Fatal, um, I Hate Fairyland, Killer Be Killed. Let's shine some light over here. Um, Little Bird, Last Christmas, Luther Strode, Manhattan Projects, Monstrous Nailbiter, Paper Girls, Phonogram, adjust the light there, Postal, Saga, Scene of the Crime, Big Hard Sex Criminals, uh, I've got all of Wicked and Divine, King City, and then going into some of the smaller image collections, uh, Severed Southern Bastards, Battle Chasers, and various paperback editions go over to my dynamite stuff the james bond hardcover the boys complete paperback omnibus i've got some of the project superpowers paperbacks there and going back down over here this is where it's going to get really hard to tell what's going on um some boom books the uh amory wars stuff based on the uh coheed and cambria albums Klaus, both of the hardcovers so far, and Baby Teeth is shoved in there somewhere. I'm trying to make the light not too intrusive. The four Snowpiercer hardcovers, Lock and Key, 
the one martha washington we're in my uh dark horse stuff now the mask milk and cheese berserker department h mind management perry bible fellowship almanac sullivan sluggers and then right here i'm starting the uh mignola bprd uh hellboy related stuff so ape sapien bprd plague of frogs and hell on earth and this next part i really hate but because of the fact um that the library editions are that large on the billy shelf i only have this much room so i use this small shelf for all my smaller books but everything's kind of out of order and i don't have the best placement of stuff so it goes hell on earth and then a bunch of other stuff and then hell on earth four and five and then that continues and i'll, I'll go up to those other books don't worry uh, over here, there's Baltimore, and I think Witchfinder behind that over there, and then that uh, goes to the Hellboy Library Editions, some Alien books, the Alien Library Editions, some more Alien paperbacks, Elting Bill Club, Beast of Burden, Black Hammer, all the Buffy books, just waiting on my last Buffy book to arrive, The Goon, Harrow County, True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, Lady Killer, Umbrella Academy, Big Guy and Rusty, Big Damn Sin City, and then a bunch of Remender stuff, Black Science, Crawl Space, Deadly Space, uh, sorry, Deadly Class, Fear Agent, Gigantic, Low, Tokyo Ghost, first volume of The Goddamned by uh, Jason Aaron, Invader Zim hardcovers, The Fifth Beetle, Lost Girls, and then let's go up to that shelf that had the smaller books. So I've got Black Hole, Blankets, and Goodbye Chunky Rice. I have a copy of Habibi, also by Craig Thompson, but I lent it to a friend, and I have not seen the book now for about 10 years, so I should probably get another copy. Uh, Bone, Essex County, Lost Dogs, Scott Pilgrim Hardcovers, Seconds, also by Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, Prison Pit, The Concrete Paperbacks, Kill Them All, and Sex Castle by Kyle Starks. And then moving over to this little shelf, We've got some uh, little collections. Nancy, Boys Club, Blue, Strange Planet, a uh, collection of the Bazooka Joe comics. Then I've got Roughneck, Underwater Welder, My Favorite Thing is Monsters, Asterius Polyp, the four volumes of Zenith or Zenith, and Too Much Coffee Man. So that is everything from my other shelf. So I did my best to show this off with some light that was not too invasive. So. I hope you guys appreciate that. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to crawl back from out behind this shelf and go back out here. And I'll show real quick. I've got a framed piece of art um, from Jeff Lemire's Animal Man drawn by Raphael Albuquerque. And then I have up here by Kevin Wada is a piece uh, of Pokemon fan art that he did. And it's signed by Wada. And I've got a signed copy of Uncanny X-Force Volume 1, or sorry, Issue 1. And that's not signed or anything, but I just got a copy of God Loves, Man Kills and decided to put that in the frame because the frame was the perfect size for it. And that is everything. All right, y'all. So that's my collection. Um, I hope that that was uh, satisfying. I hope that that was a good tour. Like I said while I was filming, I was trying to use the light and not be too invasive, and I was really trying to hold the camera steady. I know that there's some parts, especially on the last shelf there, that are kind of blurry and hard to see, and that's kind of why I decided to mention what things were and describe them, um, so that if there's anything that you can't see, then you can at least know what they were. Um, so that's everything. My, my library is not perfect, um, and I don't mean that as in like I'm missing some things, but there are some things that I'd like to move around, probably some books that I'd like to uh, move out of my library sell and uh oh i actually forgot two different things i'm gonna go outside and show my um godzilla books and i also have power rangers and tmnt so we'll do a quick look at those and i'll come back in and close this video out
All right, now we're done. Now that's everything. I uh, kind of forgot that I moved those books out in the media area since, uh, you know, the Godzilla, the Star Wars, the Power Rangers, and TMNT, they have their media tie-ins and stuff. So um, anyway, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, any books that you'd like to have me review, uh, you can comment that down below if there's anything that, you know, you're curious about the quality of. If I haven't read it, I'll try and read it and do a review, but I have read the majority of my collection. So most of it I'll be able to review if you ask about it. Um, yeah, if you have never checked my channel out before, I hope this was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed seeing my library. I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell so you're notified of all the awesome content I put out every single week. I do uh, I do two or three videos per week talking about comics and manga. I talk about single issues, just basically the stuff that I'm enjoying. I do reviews, hauls, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, check out, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you um, want to support my channel, then I do have a link to my Patreon down below. Thank you so much to my Patreon subscribers who are already supporting me on there. You guys are awesome. Uh, check that out with the link in my description if you want to support me. Uh, there's some benefits that you get from doing that, and the biggest benefit is you get to help out my channel so I can make this channel better. And then uh, as well, on top of that, I want to give a shout out to the Omnibus Collectors Network. I did mention them earlier in the video when talking about those custom books that I showed at the beginning in my X-Men shelf. Um, so yeah, give them a like, give them a subscribe. I work on that channel, uh, usually doing one video per week unless something happens and I can't. Um, but yeah, I do one video a week with them. I've been doing that with that channel for years now. We have awesome YouTubers, awesome guys that we do content with over there. So definitely check out the Omnibus Collectors Network. And with that, I'm gonna leave you guys and I hope everyone has a great day, a great weekend. Um, wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.